Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So, I've got the pump on and mounted. Uh, got my fuel return line on, the correct style. And the key is in the pump. And I got it locked down. So, it should be a fixed timing right now of around 16 degrees roughly advance. I think it's going to be just fine. We'll find out once I get this fired up and running how it does. If I have to adjust it, I can. But for now, that's where it starts out, so that's where we're going to start it. Got my fuel feed line installed. This will be the return back to the tank. I still need to put the transfer pump on. Got my filter, fuel filter put on. I said just put it on the engine. Uh, makes for a simpler installation. Everything will be one package deal. It'll go in, hook up some lines and wires and be ready to run. So fuel kill will go here. And throttle will hook on here. This is where the lock timing pin is. So I unscrewed this, pulled the lock time plug out, turned it around and put it back in. That's in a storage position. So the pump is free to rotate now. It's no longer lock timed. This thing does still need to be pre-lubed. Uh, get it, pull this plug off and pour, you know, a quart or two of oil in there and it'll go into the engine. But what I'm gonna do is use the engine oil pump to lube all this stuff. So let me get a couple of plugs. I got, still don't know what I'm gonna do about this air compressor. So for now, I'm just gonna cap that line and uh, cap the line going to the turbocharger because I don't have the drain for it. Once I get that, I'll be able to get it hooked up. But I wanna just go ahead and Run the oil pump, pull the valve cover, make sure everything's oiling like it's supposed to. And I said, get everything in the engine nice and pre-oiled using the onboard pump. So let me get it set up and we'll resume with that going on. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little messy. But anyway, what I did was I took the broken oil pump that was scrap out of this thing and weld a shaft to it so I could hook my drill onto it to pre-lube this thing. That way I can run it and draw it through the sump, push it through everything it's supposed to be uh, lubricated the way it's supposed to be done. Um, I've had a little success already. You can see the oil starting out of those rockers. Some of them are still dry so I'm going to hit a little bit here again and see if I can't get that to lube all the way down through there before I button the top up. visibly see oil 
and these other rocker stands this one here's been running old that one and that one may not have the geysers these front ones do but as it runs i think it'll even out uh, a lot of it has to do with which ones have the valve spring pressure on them right now as to whether they're letting oil through or not oh. Let me check his pump, see if it's got oil in this governor housing. Now, there's small in there, but Ain't full of oil yet. I'm gonna give me a little more engine oil to put in this thing. I think it's sucking a lot of air, and uh, I'll try it again. Well, I'm gonna put this Cummins oil pump I took out of the salvage motor into this engine, because I think it's a better pump than the new aftermarket pump I had bought for this engine. I've had two of these pumps actually off of eBay from two different suppliers, one from PAI and I can't remember, I think this other one was a uh, Max Force and uh, they're both pretty much junk in my opinion. They got too much clearance in the rotor. You can. Hear that knock. It's probably a 10 thou. This Cummins pump. It's got less than, it's probably got quarters much movement. So, I'm gonna use this one. Make sure I got the right gasket here. Yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna put any sealer on this one uh, when I put it on, because if I have to come in here and mess with the timing, I don't wanna have to deal with that. So, but this special little installation tool for not dorking up the seal. But All right, so front cover's on, balancer's on, torqued. Got my gear reduction starter put on. Flywheel's on. But I thought what I'd go over with you is these brackets like what's on the injection pump and this air compressor and I said they're pretty important because that's why the flange got busted off on this compressor fortunately I was able to find a aftermarket this common enough problem 
Uh, Interstate McBee makes a new compressor flange that I could get for 80 bucks. So I just got a new one to put on and one worth welding up and fixing that other one. The time involved and the welding would have been way more than that. Plus this thing's a super precision fit in this front cover. So once it was welded up, it probably had to been remachined too. So a new one's the better way to go. So got it on and when you put these clamps on, you got to run all the bolts up finger tight first so you don't put any stress in any of it when you tighten it up. So then what I like to do is start at the component and work my way back to the most rigid thing, which is the block. So I'll tighten these bolts, then these bolts, then these bolts. So got the oil line hooked up and crank the engine over and I get oil out of there, so it's working. Here a little bit. So it cranks, doesn't make any noise yet. You can see the oil running out. So builds oil pressure nice quick. Got some dirty oil in that compressor. I'm just letting it run out down there, help to bleed it. So I'm gonna wind up with that dirty oil in my nice fresh engine. I pretty well wiped it all out, but there's obviously still some in there. So I'll tighten that up and should be down to just waiting on a few parts to come in and be ready to put the injectors in and fire this up. So. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the slow but steady progress of putting this thing back together. And it's hampered a lot by waiting on parts every time I do something. Seems like I don't have the right part for it, so I've got to either go hunt it up, look it up, or uh, come up with one from somewhere else. So when you're not putting something back together that existed prior, it's a lot more work when you're just piecing it together out of parts from a box than if it was to take an existing piece, take it apart and put it back together again. Then you got all the parts and they all work together. But this is a hodgepodge of mix and match parts. So pretty much none of it works together, but I'm making it work together. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.